Hey YouTube and welcome back to another Maya tutorial. Today I want to show you guys how to create some game assets. If you're modeling for a game then typically you'll be creating crates and rocks and stuff like that. And I want to show you a couple of examples what you can do when you're modeling for a game. So I'm going to start off by creating a crate. So make sure you're in the polygons menu and start off by uh, in the polygons tab by selecting a cube. Now I'm going to make that somewhat crate shaped so to speak something like so I'll hit 5 for shaded mode and then I'm gonna go to my uh, front view and I'm gonna insert a couple of edge loops so edit mesh insert edge loop tool and I'll go and select one there one there one there and one there looks pretty good yeah it could be a slight bit in but okay that's not too bad okay <clears throat> and I'm gonna go back to my perspective view and I'm gonna right click go to face mode and I'm gonna select these faces one two three. Uh, sorry guys forgot to uh, end my uh, insert edge loop tool Control Z, go back, Q, okay, I'm good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, faces are selected. I'm gonna hit the R to scale it out. Oh, sorry, Control Z, edit mesh first, extrude. Now I'm gonna scale it out, hit R something like so and as you can see they're moving out a little bit so I'm gonna bring them back together just a little bit something like so okay and we're good now while I have these selected I'm gonna apply a texture to it so I'm gonna right click assign new material I'm gonna go with the symbol Lambert and then in the attribute editor and if that doesn't show up Control A. I'm going to select my uh, my material Lambert, and I'm going to go to the checkered box behind color. Select that, and I'm going to select a file. Now, right here, I can select what file I want to apply to these faces. So I'm going to click on that, and I downloaded a wood texture from the internet. Just Google on wood texture um, on my desktop and there it is wood texture all right now let's see a quick preview of what that looks like by hitting the uh, the checkered sphere here okay and as you can see that is now applied and if i wanted to be really detailed i would have selected these little side faces as well but usually in a game it's not extremely detailed and if you need it to be then you have to work a little bit more high poly and more detailed all right so now I'm gonna select the other faces so one two three four five six seven eight nine and eleven twelve thirteen fourteen we'll get these little faces in fifteen sixteen Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Get a little bit closer in there so I can see it a little bit better. So I got four at this end and four at the back end and I'm flip it over. I got one, two, three, four there and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four there. All right. So now I'm going to apply a texture to those. Right click, assign new material, select Lambert, go to the checkered box uh, near the color thingy, select the file, select the folder, go to your desktop or wherever you got your file, wood texture, and open. Okay. Now, if you hit render right now, I mean, this is usually for a game asset. It's fairly okay. But if you're not okay with it for whatever reason, because you think it looks too flat or something like that, and I'll do a quick render, what you can do is you can apply a bump map. But this usually looks okay. But let's say you actually want to have more structure on it. What you can do is just uh, select the whole object like so, right click. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to do that because it's it's good, it's not going to look good. Um, I'll show you the bump map on the next uh, asset. I'm on the rock. I think this looks uh, pretty good right now. Okay, so that's object number one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for object number two, which will be a rock. So I'm going to go into polygons menu. I'm going to select uh, a sphere. And then drag that up like so. Make sure you have enough uh, divisions in there, and you can change that in your Polish Sphere tab in your attribute editor. You can move that up and move that up. That's going to leave that 2020 right now. Okay, so you got your object. What I'm going to do is shift right click, go to Sculpt Geometry Tool. Geometry Tool. Wow difficult and you can start to pull and model the object in any way you want or like or you know if you think okay so you get the idea I mean I can uh, tweak that until it looks like an acceptable uh, rock but you can just play with that and model the shape around so it doesn't look so round. Uh, okay. Okay, you get my point. Okay, so you got the object here. Now I'm going to assign material to it. So I'm going to hit Q to quit that function. Um, I'm going to right click on it. Go to assign new material. Select a Lambert. And in my color tab here, I'm going to go to the checkered box, select file, and in this little folder here, I'm going to go up and I'm going to select rock texture. Okay. Now, that does not look good at all. And why doesn't it look good? Because uh, it looks way too flat. This is really, really structured uh, texture, but it's not, uh, it's not working visually. So what we're going to do is we're going to bump map the same texture. So I'm going to select the object again, and then I'm going to select my Lambert here. And in the bump map value, I'm going to click on a checker box, and I'm going to apply file. And then in the file next to bump value, I'm going to click here, which will help me to click on the folder and select the uh, stone texture again, or rock texture, like so and I'm going to apply that. Now, you don't see a real difference right now, but when you render it, you will. What a bump map uh, does is, uh, if you look at the image, the dark values create an indentation, so to speak, and the lighter values do the opposite. So, if I uh, render this, and uh, let's do it fairly decently, because I just want to render it once. Okay, so um, let's see what we got here. I'm going to go with production quality. Why not? I'm not going to make it a very huge file because otherwise a rendering is going to take a lot of time. Uh, let's say HD 720. All right. And from this point of view, I'm just going to hit render.
Okay, so you can clearly see here in the rock that there's a structure, and here are the two game assets. Now, just to prove that the actual structure is there, I'm going to zoom in on the rock, like so. And I'm going to render again. And you can clearly see that you got rock structure. So, uh, this is a quick and easy way to create uh, game assets in uh, a very quick time, uh, in under less than 11 minutes. So, hope you like it. If you've got any questions or suggestions or stuff like that, let me know. And uh, likes and subscriptions are appreciated. Thank you.